All right, after the death of George Floyd, the University of Chicago started to consider funding an entirely new department that was dedicated just to critical race theory. But the university was so cowed that they thought this didn't even go far enough. So they put forth an even more insidious idea. The Department of Race, Diaspora, and Indigeneity. My next guest, a professor at the school, has been one of the few brave enough to stand up against this, saying in a speech to the school's council, it promotes privileges, interpretations of history, modernity, contemporary social institutions, and events external to the university that are predicated on an ideology as much as a subject matter. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Joining me now is Dorian Abbott, an associate professor of geophysical sciences at the University of Chicago. Professor, explain that little uh, paragraph that I just read. My argument is that a department shouldn't uh, be oriented around it. And so just to give you a sense, it would, I think studying uh, race is a valid and useful thing to do. But I would want to see a department where, in addition to some scholars using and teaching CRT, there was also a retrospective on Thomas Sowell's work. They would invite speakers like Glenn uh, Lowry and uh, Tom McWhorter, and they would consider hiring someone like Wilford Riley. And so there would be a range of opinions. I would consider that a non-ideological sort of department, and that would be the ideal way to study race at a university like University of Chicago. Professor, I want to remind our viewers that you have been the target of mob outrage over being outspoken on these issues. Uh, MIT canceled a lecture you were supposed to give back in October on climate science because of your opposition to the diversity, equity, and inclusion agenda. Is that correct? Yeah, it was a lecture on uh, exoplanet, on which exoplanets might be able to have life on them based on their climate. And you're but they, correct. they didn't think that was valid because of reviews on DEI? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, everybody at MIT is not guilty for this. There were some people in leadership who I think made a bad decision, and there are many excellent scientists at MIT who aren't responsible for that. But yeah, ultimately the issue was I object to certain aspects of DEI, and um, that made me sort of a notorious thought criminal. Uh, I mean, University of Chicago, I mean, I have so many friends who went to the law school there and went undergrad there. It's such an amazing academic institution with such a rich history what what the heck's happening what's, what's what happened to the free exchange of ideas professor well i think you know uh many of us there are still fighting for the free exchange of ideas uh we have a group called you chicago free with 30 or 40 members from all parts of the ideological political spectrum who are trying to defend uh the chicago principles and the calvin report and the idea that the institution should remain politically neutral and that everyone should be able to express their opinions on anything, even if it offends someone else. Professor, we'll be following this. Thank you so much.